Hello, my good people of the world. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are watching from, according to your time zone. This is M Special. M Special, like Biafran, agitating for Biafran freedom, believing strongly that our time to opt out from Nigeria, the zoo, is at hand. Thank you from wherever you are watching my channel, especially my Biafran people, the people that has been in the forefront receiving the evil from the government of the day in the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. This moment, I had a very good news. And uh, on this good news, I want to, on my own analysis and opinion, say it the way I feel. I call on you if you have been if you are coming to my channel for the first time please support what I'm doing by subscribing you are supporting my efforts and God will support your effort in everything that you do your comment is very crucial and important because nobody knows it all I may learn from you and you may hear out from me and learn from me so this moment I'm going I'm discussing about the discussion going on currently in the United States of America. The senators of our United States of America are currently discussing um, on bringing US troops down to Nigeria because of the terrorist government supporting terrorists, unleashing mayhem on the citizens of Nigeria, the Christians and the Biafrans in particular, in the conquest of taking over their land, eliminating them and um, fulanizing and Islamizing Nigerians. So on this, I want to see it on my own perspective. As we all know, we are all African, glamouring and shouting for Africa to rise up. But now we may say U.S. are coming, U.S. are coming to take over, or U.S. are coming to... And what of the other parts? This evil and crime has been happening in Nigeria for a very long time. My people, the Biafran, since 1967, we have been on war. Every government in Africa continent knows very well about it. I'm not talking about the world. None of them has risen an eyebrow on what is going on against Biafrans. The marginalization in government, the killings, the subdivision on every evil manner any human being can think of. Yet, nobody in Africa rose up or speak about it. I'm talking about the African presidents. The ECOWAS are there in Abuja. They know all what is happening. They know Abu uh, Buhari is no more alive. They know very well what is happening. They kept the evil. That is why I will never stop to say that the problem of Africa still lies on African leaders. Yes, the West may be having their own policies. They may be having their own um, corny ways of bringing, uh, holding Africa down. But let me tell you, you are the only one that can hold yourself down as far as this life is concerned. Is the West also holding the mouth of the leaders of Africans, the, the president, to speak out for the evil that is happening in Nigeria and around Africa? Are they also going to, to kill them if they say that bad, something bad is bad? Let us think about it. What it shows is that we are still living in individual countries. Because if it's not happening in your country, it doesn't concern me. That is just what is happening in African continent. And that is very bad. And we must rise to condemn that. That people are dying in an abnormal way, in a horrible and horrifying terrorist way. Videos are flying every minute, every day from Nigeria. And no African con uh, president or organization has spoken about it. It is an evil on its own against the leaders of Africa. But you know what? Thank God, again, the West are coming. The people that has conscience. One person do comment on my video last week and tell me that the whites are doing for Africans more than we are doing for ourselves. There is a reason for that. And he has his own opinion. And that is the truth. That is the truth. Okay? That is the truth. 
Because when you see what is happening in Africa, and you see the leaders of Africans keeping quiet, keeping quiet for evil to happen, they only speak up when it's going to affect their evil policies. There are one in, uh, in, in uh, I don't know if it's secret court or whatever, when it is bad. It's only in Africa you will see a, an 80 years old man sitting as a president discussing with an European 35 years old man. They have no shame of, of, of any kind. You call yourself a president, you're supposed to be waiting for, for God to call you to go to a peaceful, timely uh, grave. You are there sitting with your great-grandson as a president from another continent. Don't they think, don't they reason? And yet they cannot even speak out. They cannot talk as men and fathers, Western presidents. I mean, educate them and tell them that this is good and this is bad. You will still see them struggling to talk. Struggling to talk, to speak out, because they are already swallowed by evil. By evil. So watch this and see how shameful it is for African leaders for not speaking out for what is happening in Nigeria. Partisan human rights and advocacy organization based in Washington, D.C. Tufik, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having us, and uh, thank you for uh, talking specifically about uh, Nigeria and what's going on. There's uh, an ongoing uh, genocide in Nigeria, and we don't hear much about it. So uh, thank you for, uh, for this. Absolutely. Why do you think there has been a rise in violence against Christians in Nigeria? Uh, there has been. I mean, it's uh, it, it be only because they're Christians. I mean, uh, Christian persecution around uh, the whole world. 80% of persecution is against Christians worldwide. And in Nigeria, it happens that uh, they're not a minority. They're 50% of the country. And they've been persecuted only because they're Christians for their faith. Is the government in Nigeria doing anything about it? No, almost uh, nothing about it. And that's another problem. We should uh, really uh, work to make sure they're accountable and to have the Christians uh, in the north uh, be protected. A report yesterday said the United States might withdraw some of its troops from Africa. Uh, would this proposal affect persecuted Christians in Nigeria? Uh, not really. I mean, um, uh, we've been bringing forces from all over, including uh, from the Middle East. Um, there's no need to keep uh, a large amount of forces, uh, but the president has been helpful in the Middle East, and we want them. Uh, we need his help uh, in Nigeria, and uh, we have many ways. We give a lot of aid uh, to Nigeria, and uh, we 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 will have. We have, I mean, it's, we are in the most, uh, the strongest country in the world. We, there are ways uh, to work on this, and uh, we will uh, continue the pressure to have the government involved and to stop this ongoing genocide. Tufik, is there anything that people here in the United States can do to help those in Nigeria? Yes, of course. Um, we need to raise awareness. We need uh, our uh, Christians, brothers and sisters, voice to be heard here. Uh, what would be great is to get our people here in the United States involved and uh, to call their members of Congress and bring awareness to this, uh, this uh, genocide uh, that's happening and to be the voice of the voiceless. Is there, is there any chance the situation over there will improve? Um, it will not improve unless we help and support uh, our brothers and sisters uh, there. As we saw what happened the uh, uh, Christmas Day, the beheading of uh, 10 Nigerians only because they're Christians, and uh, they shot the 11th uh, person. So uh, this is, and they, uh, it's a copycat of what, uh, how the Coptic in, uh, 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 were killed the same. So. Uh, the, the Boko Haram, Boko Haram means Western, uh, Western education is not allowed. That's what it means. So, uh, and the reason those ten were beheaded, it was because uh, the Baghdadi was uh, uh, killed in Syria. So basically, they count the Christians as Westerners. Mm. And when 
when uh, the U.S. moves to kill the terrorists and uh, move on the Islamic State and otherwise, the Christians are paying the price in other areas. So you can hear it from the horse's mouth. What a shame to every person, to every leader, to every um, uh, um, president of Africa, in African continent. Wake up, Africa. And for my fellow Pan-Africanists that has been speaking out in various medias, I say may God bless each and every one of you because African citizens are not relenting. They are really speaking up for whatever evil that is happening to Africans around the world. But our leaders has been so chaotic to keep quiet. Yes, they are rising up little by little in fear. Our medias has been bought over. Nigeria, we know particularly a particular um, media channel, channel television that has refused to say the truth. This channel television was one of the best television before in Nigeria, but they have been all bought over. Every mainstream television in Africa has been bought over against the people. And if you are working in the mainstream of Af any country in Africa, I say shame to you as a journalist. Shame to you as a journalist, because it's not also better or good for you. If you suppress the truth that will elevate you and your generation, you are already signing for your own debts. Tell me what you think, my fellow um, viewers and my subscribers and anybody that will come across this video. Let me hear your own opinion. Is it right? Is it right for African leaders to keep mute for ECOWAS? for organizations of Africa to keep quiet when such horrific things are happening, especially in Nigeria and around Africa. Thank you, and I'm waiting for your comments. Do not forget to share this video, and do not forget to like or dislike. They are all welcome. Thank you, and have a very wonderful week.